What's up, familia? ¿Cómo están? Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time visiting, my name is Jessica, and this is my series on Instant Pot Basics. In this series, I'll be showing you how to make basic and essential things to help inspire all your Instant Pot pressure cooking at home. I'll leave a link below to all the different basics that we've already done, but why not subscribe just so you don't miss out on any future videos. Okay, today I'm gonna to show you how to make spaghetti squash in your Instant Pot. Spaghetti squash is probably one of my favorites to swap out for that lower calorie pasta dish. They're really good. But to be honest with you, roasting it in the oven just takes so long that I hardly make it. <laughs> when I found out that you could do it in your Instant Pot and it cuts your time drastically, it was a game changer. <laughs> so let's get started. Here are the simple ingredients you're gonna need. So there are two ways you can cook a spaghetti squash. My favorite lazy way is to just toss it in whole. All you have to do is just poke some holes with a knife. And if it doesn't fit or if you prefer to prep a little more, the second way is to cut it in half and remove the seeds with a spoon. Be very careful when cutting through its tough skin. Use knife gloves like the one I have just to prevent any unfortunate accidents. We're gonna use this trivet that comes with the Instant Pot to help elevate the spaghetti squash. Place your spaghetti squash on the trivet. I have a large spaghetti squash here and I decided to keep it whole. Later in the video, I'll explain how to cook it if you cut it in half and also different cooking times for other sizes. We're going to add one cup of water. Now close and lock your lid and make sure the valve is turned to sealing. This will enclose the pressure. Press pressure cook, and for large whole spaghetti squash, we're going to cook on high pressure for 12 to 15 minutes. When it's done, we're going to quickly release the pressure by turning the valve. Open the lid carefully, and we're done. Use oven mitts to take out your spaghetti squash because it will be very, very hot. Since I cooked the spaghetti squash whole, now we just have to cut it in half. One tip I have for you is to cut along the width or the shortest side of the spaghetti squash. This will give you the longest strands of spaghetti. Look at how perfect it's cooked. The strands are still al dente, if you will, not a bunch of mush. Just take the seeds out with a spoon and then use a fork to pull out all the spaghetti squash strands. While I take out the rest of the spaghetti, let's talk about the cooking times. Here are the cook times for different sizes of spaghetti squash and also if you decide to cut it in half. Just screenshot it, save it for later, or you can check the description below for all my other notes. And just to recap, there are two easy ways to cook your spaghetti squash. Both work perfectly well. Either cut your spaghetti squash before cooking it or cut it after. I like to use spaghetti squash just like you would in a pasta dish, maybe like a meatball marinara or toss in some pesto sauce with chicken. I've even done a quick chow mein style stir fry that is so easy. It's really a satisfying and nutritious vegetable just to add to any of your meals. And not going to lie, it does help when I'm craving that pasta. That was so easy, right? I don't think I'll ever roast my spaghetti squash in the oven again. But I wanna know what you all think. Leave me a comment down below if you've tried this recipe or even if you have any other questions on the Instant Pot, maybe I can make a video about it. And subscribe if you want to, of course. I would absolutely love to have you part of this growing familia we have here growing on YouTube. And leave me a little like. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Until the next one, ciao.